Hello everyone. Now let us see the working of the lab module. To do so, type in the URL and log in through a lab administrator's username and password. On successful login, the following screen will appear. Click on Laboratory on the navigation menu. The following screen will begin to appear. This is the interface of the laboratory system. We will be using Q, Worklist, Edit Result, Print Worklist and Patient Report. Now the first option is Q. This is the Q of all the tests that have been ordered by the doctor from the patient's dashboard. And in case of OPD, that is the outdoor patients, the patient has even paid for the particular tests. For the indoor patient, the queue will directly come from the patient's dashboard and a consolidated bill correspondingly will be maintained at the time of billing. Now to get the queue, select a date, which is by default the date of the day, and then select an investigation. Now these are the various sub labs that exist in the hospital. A particular patient can also be searched in this queue by typing in the name or the identifier in this box and then click on get patients. Now all those patients indoor or outdoor who have been ordered tests from the patient dashboard and for the outdoor who have also paid will start to appear in this queue. The lab administrator must accept these tests once the sample has been physically collected from the patient. To do so, click on accept. A sample ID generated by the system appears here. To save the sample ID, click on save. The similar process has to be done for all the tests of that patient. Also, if you want to reschedule the test for a future date, it can be done by clicking on reschedule. Here, a rescheduled date must be given, say for two days later, and reschedule must be clicked. On clicking reschedule, the test will disappear from this list and will start to appear in the list of the day to which the test has been scheduled to. Once the test have been accepted, the next tab is work list. Now work list is a list of all those tests which have been accepted by the lab administrator. To get the work list, select a date, select the investigation, a particular investigation can be chosen or a consolidated list can also be generated. A particular patient can be searched by typing in the name or the identifier. Then click on get work list. Now there appear two options, enter results and reorder. In case a test has to be reordered, it can be done by clicking on reorder and by putting in a reorder date. So the test is then reordered for that day to which it has been scheduled to. Or else we can enter results by putting, by clicking on enter results and by putting in the values in the fields that appear. Like this. After the fields have been filled in, click on save. The next tab after work list is edit result. Click on edit result and fill in the date and investigation from the drop down menu. 
Type in the name of the patient for whom the result has to be edited. From the list that appears, click on the patient's name or identifier. Now say for serum albumin, the value that was entered was wrong and needs to be edited. So click on enter results and you can change the value here. The same must also be saved in the system which is done by clicking on save. So once the work list has been filled correctly and if there be any need has also been edited, we move to the next tab which is print work list. Click on print work list, select a date, select the investigation from the drop down menu. One sub lab could be chosen or a consolidated list could also be chosen from this drop down. Then click on get work list. Now this is the work list of all the results that have been entered in the department of biochemistry. Now there is an option to also generate this work list without results which can be done by unchecking on this box and then clicking on get work list. So then a work list is generated without the results. And if I check this, the work list is generated with these results. Now this work list can be printed or can be also exported into an excel sheet. This is basically for the purpose of documentation because as a practice it has been noticed that many people would like to document the work list and the kind of results that have been entered during the day. So therefore this work list can be exported into an excel and a printout can be taken and documented. The next and the final tab in the laboratory module that we will use is the patient report. In case the patient needs to be handed over a printed set of reports, then it can be done as follows. Click on patient report and type in the patient's name or identifier. In the list that appears, click on the patient's name or identifier. These are all the values with the units and the reference ranges that will start to appear on the screen. A printout of the same can be taken out by clicking on print. This can be then handed over to the patient. Now all these values are also stored on the patient's dashboard for the doctor's reference. Now I will show you how and where does it appear on the patient's dashboard. To do so, log into the system from the doctor's username and password. And from the navigation menu, go to OPD. Search the patient in the system after selecting a location. Click on the name of the patient or identifier and on this patient's dashboard go to laboratory record. Now all those tests which have been ordered and for all those tests the lab administrators have entered a result will then start to populate on the laboratory record tab of the patient's dashboard. This record is stored in the system date wise. If all the details have to be monitored, then click on all. Otherwise, select a particular date and then click on view. So all the tests 
for which the values have been entered by the lab administrator at the lab module will then start to populate here. Now this is for the doctor's review as well as maintaining an exhaustive patient's dashboard.